There's not a more popular way to compare cars these days than a straight up power figure. But there's so many different units used for engine power that sometimes we can get lost. So let me explain each of them and tell you which one we should really all be using. Let's start with horsepower and brake horsepower. And yes, they are different things. The standard unit used by the USA, horsepower actually originates from the birth of the steam engine. James Watt, the inventor of the steam engine, decided he wanted to come up with a unit to compare his new engines to the horses of the time that were dominating the haulage industry. Through experimentation, Watt decided that one horsepower was equivalent to a horse transporting 33,000 pounds of mass, one foot, in one minute. No one knows how strong this horse was, what it had had for breakfast, or if it was a tad asthmatic, and yet we still use this power unit to this day. To show just how much of a faff it is to find the unit for horsepower, here's the equation. Get a load of that. To complicate things even further, us Brits use brake horsepower, which often clashes with the straight up American horsepower. Hang on a minute, this one's a bit tricky. Brake horsepower is derived from the technique used to measure power. A large drum with an internal water brake measures the resisting braking force produced when opposing the rotation of an engine's crankshaft, otherwise known as an old school dyno. In America, this form of testing is undertaken with few ancillary components attached to the engine, allowing it to breathe more and transfer more energy. In the UK, however, we have all the ancillary components attached, stuff like the aircon and power steering, which means that brake horsepower values are slightly less than horsepower values across the board due to annoying but realistic losses. This often leads to confusion when translating engine power outputs across the Atlantic. And now on to PS, the unit for continental Europe. The unit of choice for continental Europe is derived from the German Fertstecke, which translates directly to horsepower. PS is calculated in the exact same way as horsepower, apart from the whole thing is converted into metric units. That means instead of pounds and feet, we have kilograms and meters. If you're from France, you'll use the CV denotation, which means cheval vapeur, or steam horse. Who knew? Anyway, PS results in a figure 1.4% higher than old school horsepower, which is why manufacturers always lean towards using it. And finally, what we should really be using, the kilowatt. The watt is calculated by using the other members of the metric system, the second, the joule, the kilogram and the meter. Used worldwide across all areas of engineering, the watt is a measure of energy transfer over time and it's the most simple way to measure power from an internal combustion engine. Because the numbers can get quite high, the kilowatt is used, with one kilowatt equaling a thousand watts. Like with horsepower, you can calculate engine power in kilowatts using the torque and engine speed divided by a constant. For us brake horsepower and horsepower loyals, kilowatts only really appear in our lives when we watch videos from Australia or New Zealand, most notably Mighty Car Mod. This is because the Southern Hemisphere has fully adopted the now trendy metric system, pioneering a measurement that the rest of us should really convert to, especially now that we're moving into an age of electric cars. But considering how stubborn us Northern Hemisphere petrolheads are, it'll be some time before we talk about our car power outputs in anything but horsepower. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below with what you'd like me to explain next.